Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 for free. Now, as many of you know, January 10th, 2023 marked the end of support for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. And what does that mean for you? That simply means that uh, the computer will continue to function as it does today. However, you will no longer receive technical support, software updates, or security patches and basically that leaves you open to viruses, hacking, any of those kinds of things if you do continue to use the operating system. And in addition to the operating system losing support, you'll also notice that applications will also start to stop supporting your operating system as well. So I've already noticed that Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome no longer support either Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, so they will no longer receive any updates. And you'll also start to see other applications follow suit so it is definitely a good time to update to Windows 10. Now, normally updating an operating system like Windows, you will have to pay a fee. However, there was an upgrade program a couple of years ago when Windows 10 first came out, and that upgrade still works to this day. So if you do have Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, you can upgrade to Windows 10 for free. As you can see, this is an article from December 20th of 2022, and this outlines how you can do that. I'm obviously gonna show you that here. But one thing you will want to do before we do this upgrade is to make sure that you update any drivers, any BIOS updates that may be available for your computer, as well as backing up. And of course, you can back up to an external hard drive, to one of the cloud providers such as Microsoft's OneDrive or Google Drive, and just make sure that you back up any important documents, pictures, anything you might not want to lose, just in case something does happen. Nine times out of ten, these upgrades will work without a hitch, but I always recommend backing up. All right, so here we are at the Windows 8.1 desktop. Now, for this process, this will work for Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. So the first thing we need to do is go into our browser of choice, whether that be Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, what have you. I'm gonna use Chrome in this case. And all we need to do is do a Google search. You can use your uh, search engine of choice, and you're going to look for the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Now, as you can see, the first listing here is download Windows 10 disk image. That is where we would like to go. So make sure, of course, that it's from Microsoft.com. Click on that link. All right, and now you'll come to this screen where we have download Windows 10 and create Windows 10 installation media. So all you'll want to do here is just click download now, and this will download the media creation tool. All right, now we're going to open the executable file that it just downloaded, and we're going to click yes. And this may take a moment to open. All right, now once it opens, you will get this. You'll have the applicable notices and license terms. This is normally what would show up when you first install Windows. So you can go through here and read all of this if you would like to. The majority of people will not. But you can just scroll through here and click accept when you're ready to move forward. And after a brief moment after accepting the license terms, you have this choice here. What do you want to do? So you can upgrade this PC now or you can create installation media, such as a flash drive, a DVD, or an ISO file for another PC. Now, in this case, we are going to upgrade our own PC, so go ahead and click Upgrade This PC Now, and then click Next. Now, once you click that, Windows 10 will start to download, and this will obviously depend on your internet connection, but it could download fast or it could download pretty slow depending. Now this is a pretty large file, about three to four gigabytes just to be aware. So of course make sure you do have enough space to download it. Now after it is done downloading, it may go through another two prompts saying it's verifying and then creating the Windows 10 media. Uh, again, this will depend on your computer and your internet connection. So this may take a little while. And there will be a couple of additional prompts after the ones that I mentioned. So including checking uh, for updates for the actual installer itself as well as verifying uh, that you your PC is ready for the upgrade. Now we are at the Windows 10 setup officially uh, with applicable notices and license terms here. Of course, another thing to read and accept or decline. Of course, most people will just accept it. So we'll go ahead and click accept. And now it is making sure we're ready and getting updates. Now it just checked for updates, but it's checking again. Uh, but it's just gonna run through a couple of these prompts, maybe multiple times. And finally, as you can see, we are now ready to install Windows 10. Now, in here, you will have a recap of what is going to happen. So uh, I'm going for Windows 8.1 Pro, and it is going to install Windows 10 Pro. 
and it is going to keep my personal files and apps. Now, if you would like to do a clean install, you can also do so by clicking change what to keep. So if we click that, you have three different options. Keep personal files and applications, keep personal files only, or nothing. So if you do click nothing, that will erase everything and you will have a clean slate. So just be aware that if you have any personal files or applications, nothing will be saved. So in this case, we're going to keep everything as it is. We're going to click next when we're ready. And then we're going to go through the same procedure with the same prompts we just had, getting updates, and then our upgrade process should start. All right, and after all of those prompts, we are now actually ready to install. So we'll go ahead and click install. And as you can see, a blue screen will take over your entire screen. You will no longer be able to use your computer during the process. But as you can see, it is installing and it does say it will restart several times and this may take a while. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, uh, your hard drive and many other factors, this could take a very long time. If you have a slightly newer computer, possibly with a solid state drive, it could take a very short time. So as you can see, mine is kind of going pretty quickly. Um, but just make sure to give it some time and it may get stuck at times as well. So just leave it for a while, grab something to eat, watch some TV and come back in a little while. And this is just an idea of some of the prompts you may see as the update is going on. As you can see, it's now centered and has working on updates, 27% complete. All right, and after quite a while, we are now at the uh, privacy settings screen for Windows 10. So we do have quite a few different options here. And of course, these are all up to you, however you would like to choose uh, which ones you keep on and off. Uh, I'll let you read those um, if you do get to this point. But personally, uh, the ones I will turn off here are location, diagnostic data, tailored experiences, advertising ID, inking, and uh, typing. And uh, find my device might be handy, but I'm not gonna use that in this instance. So I'll turn them all off and then click accept. And here we are. So as you can see, we are now at our desktop. Now, obviously things look a little different because we had Windows 8.1 drivers installed. So what you may need to do once you get to this point, uh, you will have to go back in and check for updates again to see if there are new drivers uh, for Windows 10 for your device that will improve things. But one thing to show you here is that uh, the browsers that I had previously installed are here and everything else that I would have had would now be ported over here. Now, uh, if you did have an older application that was say not supported by Windows 10, that may no longer be here. But as you can see, uh, we are now fully supported on a modern operating system. So uh, this will again be supported until 2025. So you do have two years to use Windows 10. And uh, in that time, if you decide to upgrade to a computer that has Windows 11, um, then you can do so but this will extend uh, the life of your computer if you do have a computer with Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. So I hope that this video helped you if you were looking to update your computer to Windows 10 from one of those operating systems. Of course, being that they are end of life, definitely recommend you do so. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.